Someone liked my photo. Your brain. I'm valuable and my self-esteem has risen. Oh my gosh, even my crush like it. Thinks I'm cute. Perhaps he wants to propose me. I'm so, so happy. Okay, let me see how many people follow me. Your brain. I had 932 followers and now I have 931. What have I done wrong? I'm miserable. Let me hide. I'm not worthy. Social media is a drug and digital minimalism is something that we all have to learn. In this episode, I want to share with you my experience, knowledge and some tips so you can begin your digitalism. New York University professor Adam Alter said that every time you see that your pig got likes, your brain produces dopamine. It's a feel good chemical. It is a very similar experience to taking a drug, drinking alcohol or smoking a cigarette. In social media cases, we are addicted not only to likes, we are addicted to its unpredictability. We never know how many views or likes we will get. If we would know that every pic you post will have 20 likes, no matter what, it would become boring. The platforms are designed to be addictive and are associated with anxiety, depression, because your brain activates sadness whenever you lose like or subscribe or followers. I used to compulsively checking if someone already liked my photo if someone emailed me if someone subscribed to my channel by the way have you give me dopamine ah. in one sentence social media was using me i started notice that i'm less productive i became overwhelmed and sad every time my photo would get not too many likes and you know this is one problem but on the other hand i was constantly comparing myself she has a better life she's beautiful she has more followers she got social approval it's a very dangerous circle because on social media platforms we are seeing only fragments from someone's life, usually idealized. So we are seeing idealized pictures and we are idealizing, it's like idealizing the idealized image. You know, this life here on YouTube and Instagram is very narrow. We can edit everything and we have control over what we will show up there. It isn't as complex as the real world. And we have to know how to distance ourselves from it. Now I know where my limits are. Thanks to the digital minimalist tips. Decide which apps you let into your life and how you will use them. So they won't use you. Choose TikTok or Instagram. Stop using everything. Practice JOMO. It's a joy of missing out. It's the opposite of FOMO, fear of missing out. I love practicing JOMO. I feel happy for my free technology Sunday. Sometimes the only thing that we are missing out on is life. Damn, yeah. Goda, that was deep. Here is my tear. Log out from Instagram, TikTok, email, Facebook or YouTube. So when you will want to see what is happening on these apps, now you will have to take time to write an email and password. Do I really need to log in? Perhaps I can do it later and now I can focus on what's important. When we are always logged in, we don't have time to think. We are just consuming and consuming. Set boundaries between work and free time. Stop spending your free time on computer or social media. If you are working on a computer after 5 p.m. say bye bye my love but I have a real life to live. I appreciate you but I want to socialize. By the way if you have some cool tips related to digital minimalism share them in the comments. Minimalism is all about removing things that distract you and uh, focus on what's matter. In this case you should remove all the people that make you feel bad, bad about yourself or people that you simply don't like. So so unfollow them, make a checklist, see who are who are you following and who have influence on you. What should matter for you is what kind of content you are both watching and posting. Remember to be kind to people on social media. Take your pride and hate on the mat to practice yoga. We think that we are hidden behind an icon and that person that is active on social media doesn't have feelings. Victims of bullying and cyberbullying can suffer from depression, have academic difficulties and attempts or think about Suicide. Statistics on bullying show that harassment increases the likelihood of mental disorders uh, developing among younger people. However, only 20% of them receive the professional help needed. Turn on fly 
quiet mode when you are practicing yoga or working out. Give your brain a space to wander. Every time we hear a beep, we are being pulled into the Instagram world. I don't like my brain to be disturbed. I enjoy being in the present moment. Find a balance between using social media. I compare social media to wine. I like wine, but I don't like to be drunk. I'm not addicted. Okay, that's what someone with addiction would say. Okay, sorry, can you go? That's why I will get one or two glasses of wine, not more than once a week or once a month. Make sure that you have a life without social media. What are your hobbies and daily activities that aren't connected to technology? What a beautiful day! I have so many things to accomplish. First call, next I'm going to work. Now I'm going to go shopping and then I have to meet my friends. In 20 minutes I have the conference, daytime! I haven't watched the movie in ages, let's go to the cinema. Now, first call, next I'm going to work. Now I'm going to go shopping and then I have to meet my friends. In 20 minutes I have a conference, daytime. Oh, I haven't watched a movie in ages. Netflix and chill. Everything went digital during the pandemic. As a result, the digital changes speed up even faster. Before the pandemic, society had a problem with internet addiction and now the challenges are more, are bigger and more dangerous. Get rid of the idea that the internet is bad and we should avoid spending time here, there. Uh, I think it's a second world, another space created. I like the internet. Without, I wouldn't be able to upload videos and have access to knowledge and motivational content from different parts of the world. When we talked about the internet, we usually have two extremes. It's totally bad for everyone, everyone controls us, or I can't live without the internet. I always have to check and scroll and oh my goodness, I will scroll till I die. And the balance is crucial. Understanding that sure, the internet can be dangerous to your mental health, but it depends how you use it. How you use it. It's on you. It's your responsibility to implement healthy habits. We have to learn to balance our relationship with the internet now because new technology hits our world. If we can develop healthy patterns with the internet, how will we develop healthy patterns with the metaverse? Have you heard about the metaverse? The term metaverse is used to describe a combination of the virtual reality and mixed reality words access through a browser or a headset, which allows people to have real-time interaction and experiences across distances. It will influence our lives in every way. That's why you have to develop healthy patterns with the internet so later it will be easier for you to adapt to new technologies and you won't get too amazed by them. I love life, I love simple living, but technology evolves and we can't change it. When the metaverse is coming, within a couple of years, we will see massive adoption and uptake. It's just a matter of time. Take care of your mental health now. Later, you'll be too overwhelmed by new technologies. And if you're addicted to the internet and you made unsuccessful efforts to control, uh, cut back or stop internet use, you should try to talk with a specialist. Internet addiction doesn't have to control your life. Use the internet intentionally and don't let the internet use you. Don't forget that digital minimalism is a process. Don't feel guilty or bad about yourself. I try to create content that will empower you so I hope it did and you feel motivated to organize your relationship with internet. It's a paradox that I'm talking about cutting off the internet and taking time for yourself when you are watching me and I'm putting this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a dopamine shot, <laughs> good chemical shot. And uh, see you in the next episode. And now turn off the internet, turn the laptop off and just go out. Just go out, just do something. Breathe without the technology. Reset your brain. Bye.